I do believe that it's important that the Senate act, and I do hope they act before they break. Uh, I just listened to Senator Kyle's comments, and certainly he's raising valid questions, but I think they've been answered. Uh, the settlement funds are going to come first. If someone got those funds, they're going to have to use those first. But as Senator Gillibrand was saying, there are hundreds, thousands of first, res first responders and construction workers who literally put aside their health care concerns in the interest of helping us get beyond September 11th. And now they're suffering greatly. I think it's like 30 uh, first responders have died from diseases that they believe can be directly traced to work on the pile. Uh, the average age is 46. And these are healthy people. So uh, I think it's an obligation of our country to stand up just as they stood up for us on September 11th and in the weeks and months after that. Now we have to stand up for them and say, we're not going to forget them. We're going to provide you the health care benefits you deserve because you really inspired a nation. Yep, and, and they did. And I wonder what your sense of where the line is. Everybody understands that yeah. politics is a matter where we need our side to win and your side to lose. And, they, and the Republicans wanted to get this tax thing done first. They wanted pressure on the White House. This was an issue that they were using toward that end without question, right? But was, was that too far? Was this, a, was this a, an well, issue too much? Well, I don't, I don't think it was simply that. I think the Republicans were right in saying we had to pass the tax cut extenders before the end of this year. We need to create jobs. We need to get our economy growing. And you can't raise taxes and expect that to happen. Right. So I think they were right in using every lever in their toolkit to make sure those tax cuts were passed and that our economy but can the, have the then, stimulus we need. But now it's over. Right. Now that is done. And that's the point, Shepard, and this bill has been around for some time. I think in the House they had more than 20 hearings on the bill. Uh, the Senate uh, sponsors like Senator Gillibrand have amended it to change the offsets to deal with some of the Republican criticism, and uh, I just think this is the right thing to do for the people who inspired America. This is the right time to do it. It's not like uh, the families are not ill today. They are suffering today, and to give them this assurance at this time of the year, I think, is what America stands for and what we should be doing. Well, it's, you know, it's hard to argue with any of that. I don't think I know anybody who would argue with any of that. Both sides are on the same page, but both sides didn't come to the same page after the tax deal went through. Both right. sides came to the same page when John Stewart did an entire hour, his last hour of the year, on this and brought on people who were dying. Right. And it took that to get this done. Were you right. surprised? Um, well, it's not done yet. Uh, I know, but I, even and, to and get people one of the to talk about I'm it here. on the same page. Uh, well, I, I think there's always uh, a belief in both parties in Washington that you can always do it later, and perhaps you do it better if you do it later. But when you, it, when you talk about first responders and people who inspired America who are very ill and may well be dying, later is not good enough. Yeah. We should do it now. You're right. And thank goodness this didn't happen down in a place like New Orleans where they don't have a lot of media to run around and take up for themselves and where Governor Pataki and Senator Jill brand don't have microphones in their backyard you know because then it might have worked out differently because well, I remember a time when things did thank goodness this was here so in the media capital of the world don't you feel the same way well I, I really I can't say thank goodness this happened here I wish it had never happened oh, anywhere but did. I do believe that uh, the, the eyes of the country were on New York we really not because of the politicians but because of those individuals the firefighters the EMTs the construction workers the police officers uh, they are the reasons that America was inspired by the response of September 11th, and we need this law for them. We, well, I, I'm, it's great to hear. Governor, thank you so much for coming in. It's great to see this to get done before the holidays, and Let I know hope. families across the country are going to be mighty thankful.